Introduction Good morning, Dad. How are you? I'm good, Karan. Where are you going? I'm going to market and I'm looking for plastic bag. Mm, you should say no to plastic bags, Karan. But why, Dad? Because plastic is very harmful for the environment. And once they're used, most plastic bags go into landfills. And on burning, they release toxic gases that are very dangerous to environment as well as human health. Okay, Dad. From today, I will not use plastic bags. In this lesson, you will learn environmental issues. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Describe solid waste. Explain agrochemicals and their effects. Discuss radioactive waste. Describe greenhouse effect and global warming. Describe depletion of ozone layer. Discuss waterlogging and soil salinity. Explain deforestation. Solid Wastes Solid waste is any garbage, sludge from a wastewater treatment plant and other discarded materials including solid, liquid, semi-solid or contained gaseous materials. Example of solid waste Waste tires, septage, scrap material, latex paints, furniture and toys, discarded appliances and vehicles, aerosol cans, paint cans, and compressed gas cylinders. Solid waste can be categorized into three types biodegradable, recyclable, and non biodegradable. Biodegradable. Biodegradable waste is waste that can be decomposed by living organisms. With the proper treatment, it can be used for composting animal feed or converted into energy. Biodegradable waste accounts for approximately 60% of municipal waste. The most common types of biodegradable waste are food waste, garden waste, paper and cardboard waste and biodegradable plastics. Recyclable The recyclable waste is the waste that can be processed into new products to prevent waste of potentially useful materials. Benefits of Recycling Conserve and protect valuable resources and protect the environment. We can make the world cleaner and greener. This technique eliminates non-biodegradable waste. It also encourages local industries. It saves energy. Non-biodegradable Non-biodegradable is a material that will not get degraded by the natural process. This waste produces long-lasting effects such as landfills in which toxic pollutants contaminate groundwater. The examples of non-biodegradable wastes are plastic, glass, metals, etc. Some dangerous chemicals and toxins are also non-biodegradable wastes. Case study of remedy for plastic waste. Plastic is a synthetic substance made from a wide range of organic polymer, such as nylon, which can be molded into any shape. Ahmed Khan, aged 57 years old, producing plastic from 8 years. About 8 years ago, his company develops a fine powder called polyblend, made from recycled plastic. This mixture is then mixed with bitumen and then the developed mixture is used to lay roads. In this way, all the plastic waste has been used effectively. Hospital Waste A Hospital waste is generated during the treatment, diagnosis, 
Immunization of Organisms Research Activities This waste includes packaging materials, plastic, tissue, body part, pathogens that may cause disease, broken glass, outdated drugs, solid, liquid and gaseous chemicals. It also includes radioactive waste. This waste is quite infectious and can be a serious threat to human health if not managed in a scientific and discriminate manner. Electronic Waste E-Waste E-Waste is the disposal of electronic products such televisions, computers, etc. Improper disposal of e-waste affects human health and environment because certain electronic products contain toxic substances. Television contains lead, mercury, cadmium, etc. All the analog television contains lead substance in their tube. Lead is very toxic to humans, especially to children. Mercury is highly toxic, even in low doses also. It can damage brain and kidney. If a person is exposed to high levels of cadmium for a long time, then cadmium can damage kidney, liver and bone. Agrochemicals and their effects Agrochemicals are the chemicals that are used in agriculture as pesticide, fertilizer, soil conditioners, etc. Types of agrochemicals Fertilizers these are the substances which are used to increase the nutrient amount in the land. It increases the rate of crop production. The most commonly used compounds in fertilizer are phosphorus, nitrogen and potassium. Liming and acidifying agents. Crops planted in the soil are either too acidic or alkaline. Due to the acidic or alkaline nature of soil, Crop cannot obtain proper nutrient from the soil. Acidic soils are commonly neutralized by adding compounds that contain calcium, usually in the powdered form of limestone. Types of agrochemicals Soil conditioners This type of substance is added to make the soil condition better by means of enhancing the aeration and water holding capacity. Manures Crop residues, etc., are used in the production of soil conditioner. Pesticides These are the chemicals used to kill a variety of pests such as insects, unwanted plants, etc. Some chemicals are also used in animal husbandry such as antibiotics and hormones. Case study of organic farming Organic farming can be expensive or can be cheaper depending upon where you live. India's farmers are following organic methods of farming. Organic fertilizer and natural pest control are the only tools available to these farmers as their financial status is not good. Ramesh Chandra Dhakar manage all the agricultural processes in a chain which support each other and follow sustainable development. Radioactive Wastes Radioactive wastes are waste materials contaminated by radioactivity above certain levels. The effects of radioactive material on human body can be very light such as reddening of skin and the effects could be serious such as early death or cancer. The degree of damage to the human body depends upon the amount of radiation exposure, the time for which radiation is exposed the type of radiation. Exposure to lower doses of radiation leads to an increased risk of cancer or decreased fertility. Children are more sensitive to radiation than adults. Greenhouse effect and global warming. The surface of the earth heats up due to the gases present in the atmosphere that traps solar radiation and emit infrared radiation is called greenhouse effect. The gases present in the atmosphere, such as water vapor, carbon dioxide, chlorofluorocarbon, nitrous oxide, 
methane, etc., are called greenhouse gases. Global warming. The increase in the temperature of surface of the earth due to greenhouse effect is called global warming. Effects of global warming are The moisture carrying capacity of the atmosphere is also expected to increase due to warming of the atmosphere. Due to global warming, the frequency of extreme drought and floods will increase. The human disease will increase, particularly in tropical and subtropical countries, due to increase in disease vectors, waterborne pathogens, etc. Global warming also increases the sea level due to melting of glaciers and thermal expansion of ocean. The global warming shifts the temperature ranges which affect the altitudinal and latitudinal distribution of organisms. Ozone depletion in the stratosphere. A stratosphere ozone plays a vital role by protecting the living organisms from the harmful effects of ultraviolet radiations. A number of pollutants enter into the stratosphere and deplete the ozone layer. These pollutants include CFC, methane, nitrous oxide, etc. CFCs are the most damaging agents of ozone layer. They produce active chlorine in the presence of UV radiation. Effect of ozone depletion The increased UV radiation increases the incidence of cataract skin cancer. It also declines the functioning of immune system. The increased level of UV radiation damages nucleic acids in the living organisms. UV radiation inhibits photosynthesis in plants and phytoplankton, which in turn affect food chain. Degradation by improper resource utilization and maintenance. Natural resources are degraded by soil erosion and desertification. The removal of top fertile soil is called soil erosion. Raindrops can be a major problem for farmers when it strikes the bare soil. Rain washes out soil and splashes soil into the air. Desertification is the process by which fertile land or an arid land into a desert through indiscriminate human action such as overgrazing, repeated burning, intensive farming. Water logging and soil salinity. Water logging is the saturation of soil with water. Water logging leads to the process of salinization. Salinization is the accumulation of soluble salts of sodium, magnesium, and calcium in soil to the extent that soil fertility is severely decreased. Increased salt in the root zone hinder plant roots from drawing water from surrounding soil. Deforestation. Destruction of forests is called deforestation. World's forest cover has been shrinking rapidly, especially in the developing countries located in tropics. Causes of deforestation. Explosion of human population. Human being has cleared large areas of forests for agriculture, housing, factories and other activities. Overgrazing. The excessive grazing to an extent damages the land. Pests. Many kinds of pests and insects destroy trees by eating up leaves and spreading diseases. Fires. It destroys the fully grown trees, seeds and it can damage animal life also. Weather. Extreme weather conditions such as heat, storms destroy forests. Effects of deforestation Deforestation causes loss of habitat for a number of species. Deforestation causes climate changes. 
Deforestation also destroys canopy which blocks the sunlight. This disruption leads to affect plant and animal life. Deforestation leads to destruction of flora and fauna. The process of restocking new trees in areas where they have been removed by cutting or other means is called reforestation. Case study of people's participation in conservation of forests. One of the participation in conservation of forests is Chipko movement. The first Chipko movement took place in April 1973 and over the next five years is spread to many districts of Himalaya in Uttar Pradesh. The villagers hug the trees to save them. Did you know? New satellite data tells us that sea ice in the Antarctic is actually increasing. Sundarlal Bahuguna was a leader of Chipko movement. He was awarded with Padma Shri in 1981, Right Livelihood Award in 1987, Padma Vibhushan in 2009. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Solid waste is any garbage sludge from a waste water treatment plant. Solid waste can be categorized into three types biodegradable, recyclable and non-biodegradable. E-waste is the disposal of electronic products such as televisions, computers, etc. Agrochemicals are the chemicals that are used in agriculture as pesticide, fertilizer, soil conditioners, etc. Radioactive wastes are waste materials contaminated by radioactivity above certain levels. The surface of the earth heats up due to the gases present in the atmosphere that trap solar radiation and emit infrared radiation is called greenhouse effect. The gases present in the atmosphere are called greenhouse gases. The increase in the temperature of surface of the earth due to greenhouse effect is called global warming. CFCs are the most damaging agents of ozone layer. They produce active chlorine in the presence of UV radiation. The removal of top fertile soil is called soil erosion. Desertification is the process by which fertile land or an arid land into a desert through indiscriminate human action such as overgrazing, repeated burning, intensive farming. Waterlogging is the saturation of soil with water. Waterlogging leads to process of salinization. Destruction of forests is called deforestation. The process of reckoning new trees in areas where they have been removed by cutting or other means is called reforestation.